I'm up here at the garden and uh, I was wanting to show you why I had it running. I already ran that tank there out completely. And that one there, you can see it's got, I don't know, maybe a uh, two foot of water still left in it. Maybe a little less, maybe 20 inches. There's my little pump that I use. It's just a little uh, half foot there. Uh, I actually bought it at a, actually bought it at a hardware store. One thing that you do have to do, you have to take these lids off while it's pumping because it's sucking the water out of this jug. It will actually collapse them. Somebody evidently has run them before without uh, whoever had them before I did and let it run dry. I mean, run without the lid being open. And you got to have air to replace the water that's coming out of there. But there it is. I'll let you watch it for a few minutes. And it's, it shoots it out there pretty good. I don't know if you've ever seen the kind of sprinkler I have here. I'll try to run out there and catch it once. Once uh, making its rounds here. So um, I bought it at Lowe's. And you can actually, well, you can see it how it's going up on that little hump right now and it makes it. And then as it comes around, you can see it drop down there and it'll make it go up further. And as soon as it starts up this hill, it starts making it. And there we go again. So you can actually water a square garden with a um, just one watering. But we have to take and let me get back over here and I'll show you how far it's going. It's um shoots it out here pretty good. I mean it's not getting the whole garden. We have to hand water some right here on the end. But right there, I mean, that's how far it's going. I mean, it was hitting right at my feet just then. So it's throwing it a good, mm, probably 30 foot um, of water shooting out then. You can see it there going. And then what it does is I got it slowing down. It's a good little view of it there. And it kind of stays right in here on the potatoes. And then comes back out, shoots almost right here at my feet again and back crossed and then there's my blueberry bushes over yonder I've got it kind of watering them a little bit and my other grapes and it's watering those grapes there somewhat um, I've had it in other videos but the little pump does pretty good for just a half horsepower uh, little you have to prime it before it'll you know but pretty much what I do is cut the water on open up the end, let it spew out the water, and then plug it up, and it's pretty much good. It'll catch off and go by itself. But there's my other tanks. I've got another video of them, and uh, I've got a hose pipe right now. Well, and you can see how far I am down here. It's coming almost all the way to this end. We had to water these right here on the end a little bit with the hose pipe. But uh, I hate doing it, but I need to get me two of those set up and buy me another pump. But this is what I got right here. And you can see it, it's coming out right there. Oh gosh, that was cold. But uh, that's how I water my grapes. I just take and cut that valve off and uh, I let that thing go for a little while and fill up. And then we'll just kind of put it right in here and let it start watering that great plant. But the one good thing about that is is it's all free water that I water those grapes with. Um, the water's not free that I put in them tanks because I have to run a pump to pump the water up out of the ground because it wells 70 foot deep and the pump's setting it right at 65 foot or no I'm sorry 60 foot and um submergible pump it takes me an hour to fill both of those up and the pumps pull in i think right at 10 amps for uh for that pump that's in there so i mean it's not that much but it is if you was filling it up all the time but for an hour every now and then just to fill those up and actually be able to come over here and water my garden with with water that don't have you know fluoride in it you know whatever they use for the 
disinfectant of it. I, they're using different chemicals now than what they used to. That gives you a good shot of how that goes across there. But yeah, there it is. I was just going to do a little video of it and show how it waters and what kind of pump I had. And if anybody needs any more information on that pump, uh, I, you may can pause it and get the information off of it. But if not, I'll try to get the information and do it. All right, y'all have a good one.